right, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of 15 properties today and uh, last chance probably to come to the Milton buyer class. Probably have two seats left. So if you're interested in those seats, register fast at MiltonBuyerClass.com or you can just click the link over there. 327 Pettigrew Trail is 425.9 and uh, that's really cheap for a semi and this is a small semi it's, it really doesn't have a lot of space when you come in you have I, I think a pretty small kitchen like an apartment size kitchen and then you've got a family room just over here so upstairs there's three bedrooms there's only one bathroom upstairs so it feels tight but what are you gonna get in Milton for this kind of price? Like most townhouses now are 430, 440 starting. They're taking offers on this one on February 21st uh, at 6 p.m. I think with a home like this, you kind of have to do that. Uh, oftentimes what we see with the smaller, whether it's a townhouse, semi or detached, like really small, we find that uh, you need a lot more showings to find the right buyer. So purposefully being aggressive on your list price, getting a lot of people in, and then hopefully getting a couple that are interested at the same time is uh, is not the worst strategy I've ever heard. And on Pettigrew Trail, if it's three anything, you're probably facing Thompson Road. So if you're not a big fan of road noise, this one may not be the right home for you. Directly in front of this home, it's, it's a relatively quiet street. If you don't live on Pettigrew, you don't drive on it usually it's that kind of street that's away but the road noise is there now yesterday we showed you a spring ridge model which was a three bedroom at 1717 square feet this one on ferguson is actually 1800 square feet it's the four bedroom main floor is exactly the same it's just the upstairs i think this price is a bit high especially the next one in the list is 60 square feet larger Plus, it has a finished basement for only $10,000 more. Uh, that doesn't look like original Madame tile, so at some point they probably did some work here. And I actually like the look of that. I think it's got a nice kind of spa-like look. And you can definitely tell the uh, the, the pride of ownership is, is there with this home. 549.9, we talked about in many episodes in the past how being at 550.000 offers the advantage of displaying yourself to two different price ranges. The 1019 Legere Way is $600,000. Uh, it's 17 something square feet. The uh, You've got a small den right here and then it kind of opens up to this area right here, like kind of a combined big room where you can fit maybe a dining and family room. And then you've got your kitchen. Now it looks like they've put a lot of work into your backsplash appliances. The cabinets look good. I don't know if that's a granite counter or not. It's so hard to see with the resolution. It's a good investment to do something like that. I actually prefer Caesar stone. It's a harder uh, material than granite. I find the colors look good. And uh, there's just a couple of advantages uh, that I've noticed with, with a Caesar stone product, which is like a man-made quartz. Uh, it also, well, it's around the same price as granite, but you can find it, I mean, it's all quality based, of course. So that's your front small den right there. Now the home backs onto a pond and as I reach the end of the photos, 18, 19, 20, I don't know why you wouldn't put a shot of the pond. I know it's winter, but it still looks really cool to, to, to see nothing behind you. I think the pricing looks good for what you're getting here. Uh, Legere Way is is the street directly in front of the uh, the the Sobeys Plaza, right? So there's Legere Way, and and then you've got the plaza right here too. So here's the thing about uh, about this street. So you look at it and you say, okay, so it's it's between Liederman and Louis Saint Laurent. There's this whole other phase south of Louis Saint Laurent between Louis and Britannia, called the Boyne Survey. And so we're talking probably forty or fifty thousand people that are gonna be living in this new phase. Uh, the elementary school was built here, the, the Boyne School, or they call it Martin Street, because now everyone's leaving Martin Street so they can do the, uh, the redevelopment there. Anyway, the, uh, the point is, 
is Legere Way looks small here, but look what happens. It goes all the way down. It's called the Collector Road down here. And it goes all the way down to Britannia, which is going to be a six lane road. So you may end up with more traffic than you're expecting is what I'm trying to say. And a lot of those streets like Trudeau, uh, you're going to find that they're going to, they're, they're pretty long when they're all done. So just be aware of that. Know what's going on in the rest of the town. If there's any land nearby that's empty, you got to do your homework. Now, 15th Side Road, there's a couple funny things that, uh, that I like to talk about. It's actually a nice home. It's been listed a couple times. 25 acres. Um, but if you read the description down below, it's the Enchanted Forest. So, Annette, I think we need some Enchanted Forest music. So, what you're going to get with this home is you're going to get balance and harmony for you and your family. And carrying costs are a dream. Now, that's supposed to be carrying costs. Uh, but anyway, carrying costs. And remember, at McDonald's, smiles are free. Uh, geothermal heat is a very good type of heating. Uh, the estimates say they're about probably four times more efficient than the most uh, efficient gas furnaces on the market. So that can be a huge thing in the country because it, when you're dealing with oil and propane, you, oftentimes you're paying a lot more for utilities than, than you'd expect. And that's a big surprise for people moving uh, away from their city home into the country. The other thing that gets people surprised in the country is bugs and maintenance too. So those are the things that we hear. Uh, it's not unusual. I had a client who, who asked me, he said, well, this home keeps selling every two years. And my answer is that's not unusual in the country because people move out there with, I think, these glorious expectations of privacy and everything else. And, uh, and it doesn't always happen. So anyway, this one's 25 acres. The other one's 20. We'll, we'll reference back to those. They're both around a million bucks. Uh, when we see the last property. 8350 Appleby, the gentleman's estate. Doesn't that sound nice? I, I, I want to be a sophisticated gentleman when I grow up. Uh, 6.25, which would be way beyond, I think, anything that's sold uh, aside from like development land and things like that. But I mean, for actual residential housing, rural or urban, this would this would blow everything away. Dead Mouse, I think, paid five million something for his home on uh, on Twist. So, six point two five. What do you get? You get uh, forty six seventy three square foot main house, uh, renovated in nineteen ninety two, and you also have a twenty two twenty five square foot guest house. And it's got the guest house has these really neat wood posts that come down from the ceiling. Uh, in 93 acres, but how much more is someone going to pay for 93 acres compared to 20 or 25 acres, which you can get for a million bucks? The answer to that question is not 5 million or 4 million or 3 million or probably even 2 million. You know you're not going to spend $400 for it, not 375 or 350, not 325 or even 300. Not 275 or 250, not 225, or even $200, like you all may be thinking. Not 190 or even 180. I would bet that the land for this one is probably two million bucks. You've got, call it 7,000 square feet of finished house. Uh, even if you estimate it 200 or 250 a square foot. I still don't understand how the 6.25 comes out. Now that doesn't mean it's not worth that. It means that as someone who has, you know, who really looks at this stuff every day, it's just my perspective may be off. So uh, there's very few people that can write a check for this. Uh, I have a feeling where they're gonna have to look is gonna be an international buyer. It is very, very close to town, which is good. Uh, you're probably getting some good escarpment views here, uh, but I don't see a lot of that in the pictures. But Appleby typically around Dairy Road, that kind of thing, it's pretty good. So there we are. Thank you for watching this episode, and uh, feel free to come to our Enchanted Milton Buyer class. Uh, a couple seats are left. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.